Hey guys, Sable at VGC here, and today I'm back with another episode of Crazy Climbing. Today we're going to continue climbing the Moon Series ladder with this Palkia team, and hopefully uh, we can uh, win some games. We're going to find our first opponent here. He's rocking Ludicolo, Kyogre, Cartana, Landorus, Kaipu Koko, and Eviltal. Uh, what I like to see immediately is that Palkia is going to put in a lot of work right now. We just got to avoid the Cartana and the Koko, which should not be too hard. Uh, no real need to bring Venusaur here. Definitely gonna bring my Scarf Tapu Lele though. I'm thinking if I go Lele, Crobat is probably pretty good. And then I can have Palkia in the back. And part of me wants Incineroar, but I think think Solgaleo might just be better. So I'm gonna go Solgaleo. Who's gonna lead? Evil Tall Coco, which is fine. Cause I'm gonna go Crobat Tapu Lele. So he does see that I'm Scarfed. Um... How do I want to do this? I'm just going to drop a Moonblast immediately into the Avelta. And I'm going to get a Tailwind up. I'll try, my goal right now is to chip damage everything. So that Palkia and uh, Solgaleo in the back can finish up everything. Killing Eveltal here will be big. I don't think we'll knock it out. But... Good chunk of damage is always nice. Okay, so get the moon blast off. Just shy. That's fine. Tamwin goes up. Thunder from the Coco. Gonna kill a Crobat. That's fine. And knockoff. Gonna kill a Lele. That's less fine. Um, Palkia still Galio coming in now. And we have Tamwin up, which is good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Z move the Coco. Because that will get rid of it. And then I'm just going to go for a quick sense steel strike into the evil tall to pick up the knockout. Uh, I could see him maybe switching into something like the Landorus. But honestly I don't think it's too likely. He probably didn't even bring it. I'd imagine he has the Kyogre Ludi in the back. Okay, so there's the Sucker Punch. Does not kill Solgaleo, thankfully. Maybe I should have seen that coming. I do pick up the knockout on Coco, though. And the Sunsteel Strike is going to knock out Evil Toe. So, this game's not over yet. But I'm Life Orb, so I'm dead. Uh, Kartana's coming in. And Kyogre's coming in. So I wall out Kyogre really, really well. In the rain, I think Hydro Pump does a good chunk to Kartana. So hopefully it's not Assault Vest. It's not Assault Vest, but it doesn't die. I needed that to die right there. So he's going to win there. I mean, I didn't really play that too well. I kind of just lost both mods turn one. And then from there it was over. I probably should have maybe led Palkia instead. Would have put on a lot more pressure. And then I would have still had things in the back to actually live. Um, seeing the Xerneas Lunala here, definitely want Incineroar. I definitely want Incineroar, Crobat. Crobat's going to come as a lead for sure. I'm uh, probably going to bring Lele. I'm going to go Lele, Crobat with Incineroar. And uh, I can't tell if I want Pelkia or Solgaleo. That Lunala scares me. But then again, the other way, the Xerneas scares me. Um, I think I can handle the Lunala. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the Solgaleo. He goes Crobat Xerneas, which is fine. Crobat Lele on my end. What I'm immediately going to do is drop a Magic Room. And get a Tailwind up. Okay, perfect. So that locks him into Geomancy right there. And now I just click Taunt into Xerneas. And I'm going to go for a side shock just to get some big damage up. The only downside here is if is if his Crobat wins the speed tag. And taunts my Crobat first. Which could be a big issue. I do win the speed tag, get the taunt off. His Crobat doesn't even go for the taunt, going for facade, which is kind of interesting. Alright then. Um, 
Well, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go for the. Uh, I'll try to taunt his Crobat now. Even yeah, I'll taunt his Crobat, and I'll just go for another side shock into Xerneas. It's a free hit into anything that wants to switch in, except the Incineroar. But if he swaps in Incineroar, he's not really in the best position. Crobat taunt. It gets a Super Fang off. That's fine. And uh, side shock's gonna pick up the Xerneas, no problem. So Toxic coming in, anticipation Toxic Croak. So I'm gonna expect a fake out. So I'm gonna swap out my bat, and I'm just gonna go for a side shock into that Toxic Croak. I mean, I have no reason not to. I might not be faster because I'm not scarfed because of the Magic Room. Super Fang into Lele is fine. Side shock, I am faster than that Croak. It does go down. We're gonna see what his last mod is right now. And he's just gonna forfeit. So we'll take that win right there. And uh, we'll keep things going. Ah, we got Serena, Kyogre, Incineroar, Amoongus, Landorus, and Duskmane. Now, personally myself, I hate playing against Duskmane. It's just one of those mods that's like, it's not that bad to play against, but it's just, I just, it bothers me because I always find a way to trigger its weakness policy or mess up when I play against it. So, this might be a tough one. Uh, we've got Solgaleo. I really like Solgaleo here, I mean, should be able to deal with Incineroar, but uh, I'm going to lead Lele, probably dumb, but I'm going to lead Lele, actually no, no, I'm going to go Crobat Palkia, then I can double into the Duskman immediately if I need to kill it, um, Incineroar is not really that good here if I'm going to go with the immediate double into Duskman, Venusaur might not be bad. I think I'm going to go Venus or Solgaleo. He does no go Necrozma Incineroar, which is fine. Incineroar is going to want to fake out. What I'm going to do is swap out Crobat. No, I can't do that. Um, I'm just going to taunt Necrozma here and I'm just going to protect. No need to take extra damage. But he fakes out Crobat, but I'm in her focus, so... Okay. And he can't use Trick Room after the taunt. Okay, so now we're in a perfect position to go for the Super Fang. And the Z-move into the Necrozma. That should pick up the knockout, no problem. And I honestly, there's not a lot, there's really nothing that wants to switch into that, into the Necrozma slot. Super Fang into Necrozma. Z-move right through Necrozma, that'll pick up the knockout. That's perfect. Knockout from Incineroar, not going to do anything to Palkia. And we're going to see Kyogre make its appearance. Um, what I want to do here is I'd like to get a Tailwind up. But I'm going to assume that's a... I'm going to assume that's Scarf. But if it's not, I'll get my Tailwind up. And I could go for Thunder. Just to do damage. And I think I'm going to go for the Thunder. I'll ignore Incineroar for now. And I do get my Tailwind up. And I'm faster than the Kyogre. So Kyogre's going Thunder right back into my Crobat. And Incineroar going for another knockoff into Palkia. That's fine. I can bring in Venusaur now, and that, that'll definitely kill the Kyogre with a Grass Knot. So now I'm putting on immediate pressure with Hydro Pump and Grass Knot, hopefully pick up both Knockouts here. Hydro Pump right through Incineroar, and Grass Knot right through, Did, that didn't kill Kyogre? Okay, that's gotta be Assault Vest. That is definitely Assault Vest Kyogre. I just thought it was really bulky, but after that damage, it's definitely Assault Vest. Uh, so if it's Assault Vest, another Grass Knot will guarantee to pick it up. And I'm going to go for the Spatial Ren, uh, yeah, I'll go for the Spatial Ren because I have two turns still, so. I didn't want to risk missing a couple Hydro Pumps. And there's an Earthquake going to pick us both up. If Lando has Protect, things could be interesting here. But I believe Solgaleo should be faster unless Landorus is Scarfed. And if Landorus is Scarfed, it doesn't have Protect. So if he Protects, we still win. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We get to tail one up here. It doesn't have Protect. Sunsteel Strike's gonna finish that one up. So two for one in today's episode, leaving us at a rating of 11.27, which is not that high. But uh, thanks for watching this one, guys. I'll see you guys next time.